C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. My name is Oras88 and today we are continuing our raid in the pirate base, or well, not their base, but uh, the place that they actually ransacked before us. <laughs> And yeah, last episode uh, we reached uh, our destination where the pirate captain is uh, holding position and we are supposedly just needing to get rid of him for us to be able to travel freely for uh, a while. <laughs> so that's what we were doing and actually we killed some, uh, some of the pirates, I don't know if all of them, but at least quite a bit. Um, and we stopped right before we had to go out the base. Um, I decided to explore the base a little bit more uh, in between episodes and so I did. So I have a lot of things to show you because it's quite interesting what's happening inside there. So one of the main things is this is actually uh, a United, uh, I, I'm still not familiar with the names, but the UC United Constellation, I'm not sure if that's the name, uh, Investigation Place. Uh, and this guy, actually Hayden Wynn, it's the leader of the lab. So here they were uh, studying and experimenting with um, some specimens which are the animals that go on those like containers. Uh, they are xenobiologists and they are developing uh, weapons or beasts rather to function as war uh, assets. So all of this lab is where they were working and uh, apparently this is where the pirates came, came in and just started raiding all the, all the place. And unfortunately on that big container there was a huge beast which is one of the most uh, dangerous they were working on and well yeah there's there are signs of the beast like crawling around all the space and killing everyone so the beast killed uh, the scientist first and then the pirates just uh, took place here apparently um, so yeah, I just killed all the pirates and now I'm supposed to go out and find the captain. But the thing is, that beast is still out there. It's one of those weapons they were working on, so maybe that beast is actually quite, quite dangerous. I'm gonna play you uh, one of the audios that I found. Hopefully I can find it here. I don't know if this is the one. I think so. You're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> it's loose. The terror morph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It kills Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn. Lead xenobiologist, wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. So yeah, poor Hidden uh, didn't make it. And of course, also as you can see now in my inventory, I took some of the uh, armor that the pirates uh, were wearing, uh, just because it has a little bit of better stats than the one that I had. Uh, of course, I also gathered as much as I could, I gathered some weapons, I found a lot of uh, cases in saves that we had to hack uh, in order to get in. Uh, also my friend here, Vasco, is carrying a lot of my stuff because I ran out of space quite quickly. And I realized that uh, there's uh, this use of the scanner, it's actually more pers per 
purposeful, purposeful. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I'm talking right, but yeah, it has more purpose than <laughs> the one that I thought. Because you can also scan the things that you can pick up, so you are no longer needed to just pick everything up and see what what is of use. Because the things that you can actually use to craft, uh, the scanner will tell you. Like in the description, you see there's it says microscope. Uh, the actual valuables will say this item can be used for craft. Uh, so yeah, that's quite useful. And also, uh, it helps you like see at glance what can you actually interact with. For example, this box. And here it says ammo case, and then you can pick up all the ammo that it has. So yeah, we picked up uh, one door and three safes, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, I found some weapons and found some documents. And of course, I found uh, some credits as well in all the corpses that are uh, just laying around in the lab. So yeah, basically that's what we've uh, done uh, in between episodes. It took me like an hour, hour and a half to actually go through all of the lab and to uncover all of that stuff. So yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a boring process for you to see. <laughs> and I wanted to spare you from that. But since now we know the... Um, facilities um, purpose actually uh, I think it's time to keep going for our objective so let's see what happens now <laughs> hopefully we will come out of this alive it's taking its time to load which it's not uh, very um, optimistic so yeah this is what I'm talking about actually the, the fact that you can see what you can interact with oh, what is this Saints great space adept coachman I don't know what's that oh red item oh it's a shotgun Ooh, shotgun shells do you pick isotopic coolant structural material and some argon that's that's a nice loot. Also, I realized that there are more med stuff instead of just the med packs because they are specialized stuff. So maybe uh, we are actually going to be needing those in case we get some specific injures. injuries. <laughs> Again, uh, I'm so sorry for my English today. Uh, so I want to equip uh, the shotgun actually. I also found out that you can mark this as favorite. Where's the shotgun? Here's the shotgun. And once you mark them as favorites, you can actually select a place for them to be on a quick slot. So yeah, that's nice. So this, for example. Okay. So let's get ready for some extra battle, I think. You gotta be kidding yep. me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? And with Constellation, you need to stop attacking our ship. Lie, that's right, I killed Barrett, so tell your pirate friends to go to back off. <laughs> Attack, enough talk, I have places to be. What's your problem with Warred anyway? I'll go with this one, and with Constellation you need to stop attacking our ship. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. Oh. That Constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. Okay, so that means... That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. <laughs> I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Okay. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your loses before more people get hurt. To m Time to make the settled systems a safer place. I don't suppose we can just agree to disagree in the hard feelings. Let's try and persuade him. You're not talking us out of this score. To 
persuade a person, you need to make su successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number cho of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Okay. You have it grown. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns away. <laughs> anyway, I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? Ooh, this one. This one's nice. I'll try this one. Oh, and I failed. Okay. Sure. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out oh, of that here. was nice. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to constellations headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. But. <laughs> I don't want to keep exploring this place, and if this guy is going to attack me, I mean... I'm going to retaliate, you know? No direct path seen. So you can fast travel to your ship once you finish, like, the mission. But let's see if they attack us. Get out of here. You've cost us enough. <laughs> Fire extinguishers. Socials. I mean, they're not attacking, so might as well. What is that? Sand pendulum. Oh, I want that. Med pack, that's nice. I'm also taking the miscellaneous that I find, like... Uh what? What is this? Am I taking the helium? I'm not sure. Well... I don't know, I, I do want to fight these guys. <laughs> so yeah, maybe... See you again. You're dead. Maybe I'll just sneak attack him. Uh, let's see. No. Uh... Maybe I can... Oh, I think I actually equipped it. Yeah. Let's see if I can kill him. <laughs> it is a shame exploration requires so much bloodshed. Oh, and he recovers his...
Nice. That was a crit. Oh, but a pirate ship came in. Oh, that's actually nice. Yep. Exterior plating damaged. This is a nice loot. And let's see. Let's try and get on onto the ship of the pirates and kill them all. And let's see what else do they have. Man, I just want to jump. Ah, uh, they're leaving already. Whoa, they have med packs as well. That's how they heal. That's quite nice, actually. But yeah, the loot is also nice. <laughs> they left the poor guys here. Let's get out of here. I have to say the shooting in this game is actually quite nice. I enjoy it quite a lot. So I can just fast travel here? Oh, I'm carrying too much and I cannot fast travel. Okay, I get it, I get it. So am I going to die because of the oxygen? Maybe I should go inside again. Okay, that's interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, let's see if this guy can... We need to reach the Alpha Centauri's. We should be free of Crimson. I am relieved you have given up on carrying everything yourself. Because I do want to know what was the loot that we... Uh, encountered. There was like two or three things that were rare items. Um, no. Our inventory. Okay. The first one, it's an incendiary rip shank, which is just a knife, but I guess it will uh, carry more melee. <laughs> uh, we can give him this, also this. And this was the other one. This is a shotgun. So maybe I can give him the other shotgun. Oh, we have a modified Maelstrom. Yeah, maybe... Oh, man. Corner damage increases, health decreases. Ooh. Randomly deals radioactive damage and demoralizes the target. 
Yeah, I will give him this one. And then I will favorite this one. Uh, wait. Oh, it's because I'm trading. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know why why I wasn't able to just um, mark it as favorite. Oh, I'm going to need to leave a lot of things. Damn. Uh, pirate salt spacesuit. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I can give him this. No, he cannot carry anything. No. Also, the pack is quite heavy. Maybe I will throw this one. Oh, but it's so valuable. Um. Oh, nice. Plus one carry capacity. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to leave some things behind here. Maybe if I can find something to just drop it in. Yeah, transfer. Storage box. Let's see. I think the spacesuit. Pirate Assault spacesuit. No, it's just too valuable as well. Okay, let's start with the miscellaneous. Uh, I mean, this is not even... 8 ammo. <laughs> I think the weapons are going to be the ones. Uh, I had with this guy, let's see. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri ID of service. Maybe all of these maelstroms are going to be more useful. Well, I mean, they're not so... Oh, they're so valuable as well. Okay, now, yeah, this is not going to work as I intended, but... Maybe we can make a run for it. And try and reach our, our ship before the oxygen runs out. And let's go. This is race. Hopefully I will make it. If not, it was a pleasure. I don't think I'll make it, man. Oh, this is so stressful. We're halfway there. Oh man. Oh man, it's so close. It's so freaking close. Oh, please let me reach it. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. God. Captain, to reach the lock, <sighs> we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Oh! Worry, this will all become second nature before too long. We're going to New Atlantis so, so quickly? I mean, it's not that I actually know what that is, but... Oh, Broken Constellation Space Helmet. <laughs> Do not use <laughs> nightwear. I didn't realize we had like all of this stuff here. I'll take if the med pack. Yeah, I actually. Uh, um, navigation console. Oh, okay.
Well, I want to know if there's that workbench that... Uh, because here the research station said that we had workbenches? Material available. Wait. Okay. But I do not have all of this. Okay, I will have to research a little bit more about how this works because, yeah, I'm not quite sure of the mechanics of this. <laughs> jump seat, jump seat, and then the pilot seat. But I want to know if I have somewhere to store my things. I don't think I have. I think we better just go and yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. Fast travel direction directly from the menus, please, please. Press this. Select missions in the bottom section plot a course to your next objective uh, set course, okay Ooh. and then we jump We arrived. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. All right. No contraband in ships, can't pass, Stand nice. Point. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Okay. Well, I guess that's where we are going to be leaving this episode before we land on New Atlantis. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think that's it for today's episode, guys. I really hope you are enjoying. And if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.